There are tons of password managers out there, but Bitwarden and Dashlane are actually two options you should consider. But let's make sure you know which of these two fits you the best. That's why this Bitwarden versus Dashlane comparison is here for 2022. So I can show you all the security elements, extra features, and a bit more. Hey, I'm Mike and you're watching cybernews.com with your source of cybersecurity reviews, news, and some exclusive discounts. So let's get this party started with this Bitwarden and Dashlane comparison by looking at the foundation of every password manager's security, which is the encryption. Now, both providers here employ the industry standard AES-256 cipher. Is it unbreakable though? Well, you could break it if you have the time and capacity to try all the possible key combinations, which is just a bit less than the number of particles in our entire universe. So yeah, maybe. While the encryption alone makes your password unattainable, there are also some measures in place to make sure that the key to access all of those passwords is only available to you. I'm mostly talking about two-factor authentication here, or 2FA, and personally, I prefer Dashlane's biometric option with a fingerprint scanner, which Bitwarden doesn't offer. However, even without biometrics, you can use email, an app, or physical key authentication as a reliable alternative. And with Bitwarden, you can even host your own password manager server to avoid any third-party involvement whatsoever. It also helps that Bitwarden is an open-source password manager. I think it's also important that the providers themselves don't gather any sensitive info from you either. Call me crazy. So privacy policies are there to help you with that. Now, take a quick look on the screen and you'll see the differences in Bitwarden versus Dashlane's data gathering. Usually this is not a big deal, especially since both providers keep that info encrypted, but I'm actually not a big fan of Dashlane's policy here. These parts are fine, but the master password and billing information, mm, it's not ideal. But maybe I'm being too critical here. I mean, considering that neither Dashlane nor Bitwarden have been breached before and Bitwarden has passed third-party testing, well, it seems that their high security standards have all been verified. So Dashlane does better with security measures while Bitwarden excels on the privacy front. Eh, it's a bit of a draw between these two providers so far. While basic security is fine and dandy, the best password manager services never get complacent which is why you're gonna find more and more advanced features being added. So why don't we check a few of those out? Now to make life easier, both providers are capable of importing lots of passwords all at once, either from other password managers or from popular browsers. So not a lot of differences here. Password generators are also super helpful and I'm gonna go with Dashlane's here. It has more flexibility when generating a password. While Bitwarden is preset to always generate 14 character long passwords, it's nice for security, but I just prefer more options and control. Autofilling is another convenient feature, which Dashlane just nails. Unlike Bitwarden, Dashlane detects most web forms automatically and then fills them out without any extra inputs required, so that's smooth. On the security side, there is a way to either share or recover your passwords. With Dashlane, password sharing is allowed with up to five recipients on the free version and without any limits on the premium version which is a rare feature to find with password managers, you know, like Bitwarden, who limits sharing to a single user on premium and just six users with the family plan. This is actually more the norm, but it does make Dashlane look a little bit better by comparison. All right, let's be real for a minute. We're all human. We tend to lose our passwords once in a while, especially those that protect all your other passwords. Well, to fix losing your master password, Dashlane allows you to set up an emergency contact through whom you'll be able to restore your access if you should lose your master password. Bitwarden is a little less forgiving. You get a unique code that you have to keep recorded somewhere. Without it, oh, you will not be able to access your passwords if your master password is forgotten. So keep it somewhere safe. While I like Bitwarden's strict approach, Dashlane does provide a much less stressful experience in the end. So overall, it's Dashlane who's offering the better security coverage while also being a bit more convenient. While Bitwarden is not bad at all by comparison, it's just showing that Dashlane has better implementation of some of the more major features. And yet there is still one factor that might outweigh everything else. Mm-hmm, this little factor, so pretty. Look, pricing is a big deal for many of us, including myself and there's actually quite a bit of difference between the cost of Dashlane and Bitwarden. So once again, to save you time, 
I'm going to put all the differences of premium and the free password manager plans up on the screen. And there you can see Dashlane offers more in the premium version, but Bitwarden has almost the best free password manager version I've tried thus far. As for the price, it's not massively different. I would argue that despite being a bit more expensive, Dashlane actually still prevails in terms of price to value ratio. Because for me, having access to more devices, more two-factor authentication options, and more sophisticated password generation is worth that slight price difference. And don't forget, your security app needs to be well-designed and easy to use. Otherwise, what's the point? You won't want to use it. So now on desktops, there's almost no platform-related difference between Bitwarden and Dashlane. All features are identical and the UI is basically the same. No problems to report using Dashlane or Bitwarden. Both apps are easily navigated and user-friendly. And after reviewing KeePass recently, well, each of these more modern-looking apps is a pleasure to see. But even despite having the same UI, I've been the most comfortable using Dashlane on Mac for some reason. I can't pinpoint why exactly, but I guess it just feels more intuitive. Mobile apps felt very similar. Both are well-designed, easy to navigate, and just look nice. Clearly, job well done. I've also tried browser extensions, and I was actually a bit disappointed with Bitwarden. Each browser's extension had a different interface for some reason, while Dashlane kept a similar design each time. Personally, I think both password managers have good apps, and even Bitwarden's inconvenient browser extensions didn't spoil it all that much for me in the end. But I don't mind spoiling you with more cybersecurity content, so you just gotta leave a like and subscribe to actually make that happen. It's easy. All right, final verdict for this Dashlane versus Bitwarden review. So far, Dashlane is a very secure password manager with lots of flexible options. A strong contender for the best spot for best password manager in 2022, I'd say. Bitwarden, on the other hand, is a very robust password manager that can be self-hosted for extreme security measures. So it's definitely got that going for it. Overall, considering the better basic security, more advanced features, and bigger device limit, I gotta say that Dashlane brings the better overall value. But hey, you can disagree, but let us know your opinion in the comments. And don't forget to click this box if you're interested in the latest Bitwarden and Dashlane deals. Alright, till next time, I'll see you in the next one.